wear them out. Man, yeah, just feel them out, you know. But for sure, I want to I wanna put them away and let my nuts hang on them real quick. Holla. Yeah. All right. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah. I can feel a thing. I can feel a thing. Ever since you are the way. Things ain't been us. No, I can't feel a thing. I'm heartless, I'm heartless. I can't feel a thing. I'm heartless, I'm heartless. When them tears start pouring down, yeah. I'll just pour champagne. I'm heartless, I'm heartless, baby. Beep, beep. What is it? April 13th. That's it. All bets are off. Hoof. Hard Knocks win. Hard Knocks 365 taking over. All of MMA. Bellator UFC, everybody. Feels good to have two healthy lungs. For the first time in a long time. Cardio already feels better now than it ever did my last two fights. And I still got a whole nother month to go. So, thankful and blessed. It's shitty how it happened to start the year off, but I'm glad it happened now and figured out the problem. Get, get my health, because at the end of the day, health number one. This fighting stuff's second. I feel good, you know, it's the work is done, you know, another week and hard work and then just kind of sharpen everything up. Really what it comes down to is just being mentally, at the end it's just about being mentally ready, ready to compete and uh, execute the game plan come April 13th. Killing myself in this freaking gym. I feel like I live here sometimes. But uh, I don't know, that's all part of it. You gotta give yourself to it and then you'll get out what you put into it. I'm gonna have two more groups of two and these two, and then we're gonna have two people sit out. So Tyler and Marquez are gonna be here. Um, Evan, I'd like you on deck with these guys. Yeah, man, Saturday morning, we're just in here getting it in. We got a uh, busy schedule coming up. A lot of guys getting ready, ready to fight, a lot of big fights coming up across the world. So, you know. Sometimes be part of this. Good times, good coaches, good fighters. I could probably quote a thousand things that, that are pertinent to like what I'm trying to say. But it all boils down to um, you, you become who you hang around with. So when you're in a gym full of people that are hungry and they want it, you're gonna become somebody that's hungry, that's hungry and they want it. Whenever you're in a room full of people that want to improve, you're gonna become somebody who wants to improve. Yeah, Tasha Hernandez, he's, he's five and five in MMA, but uh, uh, no kickboxing experience, so go in there and we'll take him out. He's a little shorter than me, so stay long, stay back. Yeah, 170. I think it's, it's all about motivation. Motivation is spirit that's going on and that matter of uh, feeling like your your teammate your buddy next to you is up next he has this coming up i have this coming up you know and then you just you just flow in that you know with each other and it's just it's hard going through a whole week without having that motivation and that's what it makes it special 
whenever you're in a room full of people who are skilled and able and in shape, you're going to become skilled and able and in shape. So that's that's what it's all about. That's why that's why this group gels so well. Is everybody's in here trying to get better. Everybody's in here pushing each other all the time, and uh, you know the results speak for themselves. I like it because uh, just the level of intensity. If you're in this gym and see how these guys are working, it's a non-stop pace. You know, so. Of course, in any match, he's not going to throw a kick. But the amount of muscle recruitment and energy required to throw these kicks can give him an edge for his conditioning, for his striking. It's also going to help him with his rotation on his punches, things like that. And I mean, just for him himself, he's a big guy, man. So being in here, we got guys that are smaller than him, that are making him work his feet more. We got the bigger guys that he can tussle with, he can jab at. He could work on his defense, so I appreciate it, man. And just watching these guys work, the different techniques, the difference, you know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just come right back. Once they do something, they do something. Right here. Right here. A lot of people don't work on Saturdays, big baby. Yeah, man, it's just, it's just fun stuff. Get a good sweat in, get loose. Not too really taking a pound on the body. This is more really for eye, eye coordination and just having those sensors up. You know what I mean? Just, just working with guys faster than you, smaller than you. Keep you sharp. You know what I mean? So, not crazy today. Just get a good sweat in, get the brain moving. That's all it is. You know? So, I don't need to spar and all that shit. You know, with heavyweight guys, small guys. Get the speed in, get the agility to work. Head movement, eye, brain functioning. It's working. So I'm smaller than a small, small guy throwing 100 punches around. And he missed 80 of them? That's pretty damn good. I know with, with Coach Truth, with, with somebody that he, he uh, looks up to and enjoys his work. And like you said, uh, everybody in here pretty much has a fight within the next 90 days. So you're not going to get guys to come in half ass and bullshit. There's times you can get a, a sparring partner, they'll show up for the pay. And they may not give you the work that you need. Then you'll get the guys who will show up with the work that you need. But again, if you just look at this floor, Everybody's putting in work. I mean, even the people that are coming in here that are amateurs or people that are just coming in for a class are putting in work like as if they have a fight in the next 30 days. So it's it's cool. It's different. A lot of people won't understand it. A lot of people are against it. But it's all about the work ethic, man. If you're in here, you're training, you're recovering, and you're getting around some guy that's going to make you work harder than you would work anywhere else, you got to go with it. Iron sharpens iron, man. <laughs> Realistically, how much time have we been working already? Yeah, I think you know about what I mean. Three weeks, solid. I'm gonna be like, shit, I, I could fight in a week. Oh, you always get like that. About three weeks in, you're like, all right, I just want to fight. Yeah. Get the teacher getting smashed by his students. Get that. Get him. Teacher getting bullied by his students. You gotta fight for me. Student bully, student bully, teacher bully, teacher. Hey. You got some closure on all this mess? Hey, it ain't closure, it's the beginning right now. Thank God, you know, I told him, tweeted him yesterday, I told him, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for taking the fight. You know, this is the thing, a lot of people have a misconception just because fans start talking. Yeah, just because I put a couple of people on blast because they turned the fight down, that didn't necessarily mean they were scared of me. I didn't say all that. Some of them might have been worried, but that's not to say they were scared. They had something going on. 
some people got to do movies, some people got to do, you know, other things. Some people are hurt and they can't take the fight. That's all it is, you know. Don't let the media get you in your feelings. Just because you turn it down. I ain't never said you were scared, but don't get in your feelings.